everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and tonight I wanted to talk to you about confidence, specifically your own self-confidence. When you are attempting to trade the market, you have to have a lot of confidence. How do you gain that confidence? Where does it come from? Well, maybe you're just a normal confident person in anything that you venture to do. If you are, that's great. You're going to need that confidence to trade the market. If you are someone that doesn't normally have a lot of confidence in things that you do, it's something you can work on. You can work on and improve your self-confidence. I truly believe that. But saying that you are someone that doesn't normally have a high level of self-confidence, it doesn't mean that you can't do well trading. What gives people or successful people, what gives someone like me confidence, okay, in the market, the knowledge? It's the knowledge, okay? So when I, I have my trading room, but I, I only allow people to join the room after they've taken the Golden Gap course. And the reason is because that learning the system, learning the information gives people confidence to trade. It's the knowledge. Once you see something and you understand the thought processes behind it, why you should short this stock, for example, why you should short this stock here, all right? and put the stop here, look where this is the target, why you would do it, the thinking behind it, the philosophy behind predicting why something's gonna drop in price that you would know to short it ahead of time. That knowledge, okay, that knowledge helps you gain confidence in doing it and actually pressing the button and doing it and taking the risk And because you're risking your money when you take a trade, whether it's $50, $100, $1,000, Whenever you take a trade, you're taking risks. There's no way to get around that. You can't just poof, take a trade into thin air and make money without taking the risk. So you must take risks to trade. It takes confidence to do it. A lot of people do not have confidence. That's one of the reasons why people jump around from thing to thing, never fully commit themselves to the time and the money and effort to trading because they don't have a lot of confidence in their ability. But I'm telling you, once you have the correct knowledge, which you learn in my class, which is why the stock is going to drop, therefore you short it, okay? Once you have that knowledge, it helps your confidence to do it. Even if you're not a confident person, if you have the right knowledge, you'll gain confidence in the market and in stocks and in taking trades through the knowledge and then the experience of taking live trades and profiting and making money will help you too. And now let me give you an example. If you don't have a lot of confidence, what happens when you lose in a trade? Your confidence level goes down even more. If you have confidence in your ability to trade, to make money in the market, to, to predict where stocks are going to go, if you have confidence in a system, if you have confidence in the knowledge and your own abilities and the knowledge itself, which you learn in my 26-point rating system, if you have confidence in that and a trade fails, say even two trades fail in a row for you, you can keep going and overcome that two trades or one trade bad day or whatever day you have it or you have a bad day without losing losing it you know so many people just get nuts and then they take one bad day and it spirals into a week of bad days when you understand a system and you have the right knowledge and you have high confidence in it when you have a trade that does not work you're not going to blame the market you're not going to go off the deep end you're not going to spiral off on a, on a streak of losing days You'll accept it, that this is part of the system, and you'll understand that in the market, not everything works 100%, and you'll just shrug it right off. I call it having amnesia. This, that's important, too, but when you have confidence in yourself and your abilities, you will better be able to handle hurdles when they come along the way, when problems arise, when you have challenges, when you have hurdles, challenges in your trading or anything you're trying to accomplish, you'll, you'll find a way to overcome them, and you won't get so upset and bogged down by any little thing that happens or one bad trade or one bad day. And the problem is that many people carry experiences that are negative in reference to trading, trades they did, decisions they made, classes they took that they didn't learn anything from. People take all that negativity and they take it into the future instead of using it to their advantage, which is what an intelligent person does, okay? Using the things that happened in the past to their advantage to take it forward into the future and make better choices, make better decisions, and understand that, not that it can't be done, but that the only way to be successful is having a good system and a high level of confidence. You can build your confidence over time, but you get the confidence from the information. The knowledge is what gives you the confidence to do it. When I teach the class, I want people to see it with me. And when they're seeing the gap with me, that helps them take the trade, even though I'm calling it live and they're doing it. 
it helps them do it too because they see it with me. And that makes a huge, huge difference in your ability to be able to do it. You may not understand what I mean until you take my class. If you're interested, you can certainly email me to find out when the next class day is. But I'm telling you right now, knowledge helps you gain confidence in the market. I apply my knowledge all the time. I put my calls out there for people. Calls I give in the market that I put out on YouTube. Things that I say on television. Trades that I call in the room. I'm a highly confident person. I got this way because I have 10 years plus of knowledge of trading gaps in a system that I created. And that's why I'm so confident to be able to say these things and make the predictions and see them play out. Okay. So think about what I said. If you're not confident, you can gain confidence by information and knowledge. And if you are confident, normally as a person, you're still going to need the knowledge to be successful and be confident. You can never have too much confidence. So even if you're a confident person, build on it, build on it, build on it, build on it, and work it up. You'll make more money over time the more confidence you are, and you will also make more money the more knowledge you have about a system that is profitable, which is mine. If you don't have a profitable system, reach out to me, email me for more information on the Golden Gap course, and you can feel free to uh, call me as well. It's 929-3200-GAP, or email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.